Hey guys, Dead Man here. In this video, I'm just going to take you around the property real quick here. We've been pretty busy working on a lot of things here. We got some trees taken down, and pretty much so, just everything was. They left everything here, which I'm perfectly fine with. We got some beets growing in this garden box here these pine boxes aren't really good that's only the second year we've gotten out of them and they're starting to fall apart we got raspberries golden raspberries here kale and arugula looks like it's gone to seed the spinach has gone to seed there is nothing in this box here Brussels sprouts, I believe those were, went to seed as well. We got the blueberries. We got the microgreens that I kind of just left go. Got the blackberries hiding in there. We'll get them fixed up. Corn. Unfortunately, the deer got some of the corn and we're just, I don't know what, looks like they were eating it and maybe it was not what they liked and just kind of munched and dropped it. We have another row of corn here. We kind of staggered them. That was planted like three weeks after we planted this row here. You've got zucchini, squash. There's a watermelon hiding in, in there, I believe, somewhere. Got some tomatoes. Got some more tomatoes. You got some horseradish there. And this fig tree actually got munched on too. I'm surprised he's he's still with us. Same thing with this fig tree. Actually, this this right here is what, and this is all new growth. That's really good. Um, maybe he will make it. This was a Bing cherry tree. Uh, two two or three days after we planted them, we had a frost, and these guys are not not doing so well. Uh, hopefully get a replacement for that one again the deer got this I believe this is a mulberry tree you can obviously see where they were munching on that Z star apple tree again got kind of munched on really hoping he comes back here's the other cherry tree it's just no new growth on them, nothing. It's really hoping about them, but we'll get replacements for them. Rhubarb. Rhubarb's doing really well. Looks like we got some more rhubarb. Here's the aronia berries. And that structure there that was actually a swing set we're kind of reusing it as trellis up the uh, tomatoes back here on the side of the property smelter berries there Nothing else really over here on the side. Going around to the back side of the property now.
back side of the house. I'll show you the herb garden too. It's a persimmons tree. This is another persimmons tree. Take you up the hill here. This is time. Hopefully we'll get it to creep down the hill for completely cover that. At least that's what our plan is. This is all time creeping time. Hopefully, like I said, train it to grow down the hill here, cover the hill, and I don't have to worry about anything. We had um, lavender planted back here. Didn't come back this year. I don't think it's getting enough sunlight back here. There's a little bit of it there. Not much. There's another one here. And there's another one. Looks like actually some of the time is going to seed. Um, these pawpaw trees. These guys were much smaller than that when we got them. Um, I think we're going to leave them in the containers. And when it comes winter time, throw them in inside the house there and winter them over the winter time inside. And then next year we'll plant them. They, like I said, they were much smaller when we got them. Here's the herb garden. Uh, we had rosemary in here and here and I believe there there's three rosemary plants here I'm um, like again like I don't think they're getting enough sunlight back here lambs ear lambs ears obviously gone crazy and gone to seed beautiful interesting flowers sage back there and there's catnip and over here we planted well we actually just threw a bunch of seeds in the ground just to see what would happen but unfortunately it doesn't look like much of it is taking off except for we got a little bit of dill right here and that's really that's really about it guys um, lots of projects going on here trying to get everything situated the way that we want it um, it's really important to me to try to get as much of this property growing food as I can um, so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch you here in the next one.